today we will be going through the procedure of a lash perm. To my side here, I have all of the tools set up that we will need to use. I also have them set up in order that we will use them. We will first begin by cleansing the eye area, applying our under eye pads over the bottom eyelashes, apply our perm rods close to the lash line. We will use adhesive here specific for an individual lash perm, eyelash perm, in order to secure those lashes in place to our rod. I have step one, our perm solution. I have a hot towel in the towel caddy and I have saran wrap here that we will apply over the lashes once our solution number one is on. I have an orange wood stick here where we can test our test curl. Distilled water to remove solution one. Immediately after solution one comes off, we'll put solution two on. Once our solution two, our neutralizing solution has processed, we will then apply nourishing lotion on top for an additional five minutes. Once our timing is complete, we will finish with cleansing lotion and that will remove the adhesive so that we can remove the rods and our perm will be in place. For my client's comfort, I am going to utilize a hot neck roll. Okay. I'm using Ormetic Cleanser to remove any existing eye makeup. Cleansing the eye area down and in towards the tear duct here. If we release any makeup, we want the tear duct to be able to flush the area naturally. As we are going into a lash perm, after I have cleansed the area, I want to run distilled water over in order to remove any cleanser remaining as well as to provide my client with a little more comfort. I am now going to place my under eye pads. For this step, my client will open her eyes. I want the under eye pad to sit over her bottom eyelashes.
I will pull down on the cheek as I am placing the under eye pad. Go ahead and close. I will now place the rollers in place. We have medium for length today. I have an M1 and an M2. M1 goes on the left eye, M2 goes on the right eye. You can see with the curvature of the rod, this should sit close to the lash line, following the curvature of the eye. Now I have a small popsicle stick out for my adhesive. I'll grab some adhesive out of the container and onto the stick here so that I can dip for more product and not contaminate the bottle of adhesive. When doing a lash perm, it's important not to overuse the adhesive. And I'm gonna start from the outside corner shadow. And bring those lashes straight up the rod so that there are not any lashes overlapping each other. They have a nice curve and curl to them. It's important to take your time with this step, being very meticulous. Rather than grab more adhesive if the lashes are not sticking initially, 